This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Carol is off this week, and I have some very special co-hosts joining me. Ryan McNeil and Jennifer Horton, <laughs> also known as Scott and Missy Reeves. Guys, good morning, so everybody. Good to see you. So good to see you. We love being here. Thanks for coming so in. Oh, my goodness. You know what? We it's like it. coming home. I know. It's so it sweet. It really is. Everyone here it's is wonderful. It's like coming home. I'm going to need you to look in the camera and say that again so we can keep that for a promo. It's like, it's like coming, coming home. home. There it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys are so busy. I mean, you've been doing all the wonderful things that you always do in your career, but now you have the coffee company as mm -hmm. well. Coffee company, yes. The Vival okay. Roasting Co. How's it yeah. going? It's amazing. And it's I was just telling my husband, I'm like, honey, Right after the show, we need to get home and roast. We have orders to fill. We gotta go. We gotta like. Get <laughs> I have it going. two new. I have we have two new single origin coffees. Mm -hmm. One being decaf because people were asking yeah. for decaf okay. so we can yeah. drink coffee at night. To go home and dial in and get a profile on so we could start providing it for people. Yeah. Okay. How much work has this turned out to be that you didn't anticipate? Because let me just say this: you're both creatives. You both mm -hmm. think in that mind of like, this is amazing, let's start something new, but then mm -hmm. nuts and bolts, you've got a real business happening yeah. here. and we love it. I mean, you we, do? We love okay, it. Okay, good. We're, we're just, I think we've always kind of... It doesn't seem like work. Yeah, it really doesn't. At all. I mean, I get to drink gallons of coffee a day. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> what I told my husband. I was like, honey, we live so far out in the boonies. Right. I'm like, you're such a coffee snob, and you're driving an hour every day to get coffee. I'm like, you just need to roast your own. As if that's, as if coffee's not enough, though. Right. right. My wife and my daughter oh, are yeah. both. Are, they're they're very. My daughter's very entrepreneurial also, and they get together. She and has so a now company they, called Smith and Supply. What's she, this? She makes. She takes all military wear. She, <gasps> her husband takes her to all different bases. She buys the jackets. She puts faux and real fur collars on them, and like these leather tassels. So she's like entrepreneur. She's and then upcycling. Larry and Livy, our son and daughter-in-law, they have two and yonder, which is. They started when they were teenagers with this photographer video business. Yeah. We always said they were like 35 when they were 15. Yes. But now they're only 20 and 21. Oh my god. And they've made this whole business. So but nice. Emily and Missy are starting oh, something. There, there's a, there's Look at little, oh, there's our babies. Look at oh, everybody. Our little fam. They, uh, they're, Missy and Emily are starting oh, a Ash, business. Ash Newell. Oh, know? I got it. We got to oh, talk about Ash Newell. Okay, tell me about that. Well, Ash is this amazing photographer that yes. we met in yes. Leaper's Fork, and he came out this and guy shot is, us on he's, our he's photographed he's everyone amazing. and their mother yeah. in the rock and roll world for so, we felt like rock so stars many years. For the day. Yeah, he, he made us rock stars yeah. for the it's day. It's so crazy because I know being in L.A. and being based in entertainment for as long as you have and now coming here and starting like on a farm in yeah. the middle of kind of nowhere, Yeah. did you ever imagine that you would find this community and this family that you have? We, we actually did because we knew the first time we started visiting here, mm -hmm. we were like, this place is so unbelievably friendly and sweet and warm. And we couldn't, we knew there was going to be a perfect time for us to move here. And, and we knew it. We were like, this is it. This mm -hmm. is the time. And we packed up L.A. and moved here and never regretted it. My dream was to be a yeah. farmer from the yeah. time I was four years. Every, so every time someone would ask me, what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a farmer. Because <laughs> my Always. grandfather, on my, on my mother's side, yeah. Uh, they're from West Tennessee. They, they had farms in West Tennessee. Tobacco farms. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And they went to the West Coast in search of opportunity. My dad's God. from Arkansas. Yeah. They went to the West Coast in search of opportunity. My mom and dad met at Venice High School, where Greece yeah. was filmed. And uh, and then we they had us in Santa Monica Hospital. And, and then, so, they're, then they're like, oh, Lord, you're going back to the <laughs> <awesome." laughs> We were well, trying we to get out of so here. many years getting, <laughs> trying to get to California. Right. I said, no. We're like, no, so it, we're going then back. I spent the, the, the next <laughs> few it. decades trying to get back here. Yeah. And we did. And we what? wound up here. It's so good. Now, I remember when you guys, before you had the house built, you were living in the Airstream. In our Airstream, yes. So I, I just left it. And you saw house. the size of one of the dogs. How many we, dogs did you oh, have? Stop. We had four then. The two little chihuahuas like slept on my side of the Airstream in my nightstand. <laughs> there was like, the nightstand was like a little <laughs> chihuahua house. <laughs> and then on my side, I had the basset hound. Yep. And then Osa, the big English mastiff, 150-pound right. mastiff, right. got the middle of the bed. Oh, yeah. good. She well, would make her way up onto should. the full-size right. Airstream bed. We had it weighted down for Tornado, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> well, here's what I love. So now you just missed it because HGTV is now like looking for people who want to yes. renovate 
And I'm like, you just missed it by like that we much, did. man. We could renovate our airstream. That's okay. Right. Okay. Well, maybe that so. Would the be Scott Brothers. Because we're making it a guest house. On, you are? Yeah, because we're like, well, we miss. We always say the airstream was our favorite house. So we're like, we want to make it a guest house for people to come We were going to sell in. it. And then we're yeah, like, and Missy's like, no, we can't our sell our, we we can't can't sell our sell home it. that we lived in for two years. I know. So we're parking it just on the side of the pool, creating a, a little trailer park with yep. lights and everything for people to stand. And a little chimney and a porch. So. Same trailer, different park. One of yes. my favorite yes. albums, Casey yes. Musgraves. Okay, Scott Brothers are casting in Nashville. They might be working with these two. You never know what could happen. HGTV stars Dave and Courtney Wilson, they've got their yeah. own show. So they're going to find homeowners that want to renovate their house. But there are some of the things that you have to jump through. Here are the things. If you're interested, guys, and you live in Nashville, you have to either be here or moving to the area. You've already purchased the home that you want to renovate. It's in the Nashville area. And you have to have a minimum renovation and design budget of a hundred grand so oh. you know uh, you're right i was like oh so there's that you need to put up a list of banks next for <laughs> right so go get your money and figure out what you want to do awesome. and wow. then hit them up because they're looking for people here in town now both of you i know know the music business you very very well That's now we, yeah. emily like is now right. putting her foot in the water <laughs> So we know we love all the people in town that can yes. sing. Yes. Well, Mike Fisher, we love you, but maybe it's not because of your singing skills. Maybe it's just oh. for your hockey skills. <laughs> Check out this video. His wife, Carrie Underwood, we love her. She's incredible. Mike's trying to sing to the couple's baby, Jacob. Yeah, here's how it went. Cause I still believe in was everyone's a critic and oh, you know like said the real reason was because he was hungry and he wanted Carrie's oh. food it's not my singing <laughs> it kind of sounded like happy Gilmore and Carrie Underwood <laughs> Awesome. You can do all the other stuff. That's okay, Vanderbilt's ba uh, baseball team on a yes. roll. They're mm -hmm. incredible. They always have an incredible, Amazing. incredible team. Well, they are in the finals for the College World Series, so we're rooting them on. Come on. Fellas are taking on Michigan tonight at 6 in Omaha, Nebraska. They have to win two games in the three-game series. I don't understand it all, but they're still in it, so go doors. Yes. Tonight will be Vanderbilt's third appearance in the World Series finals. They wow. won wow. back in 2014. So we're hoping that they get to bring home another championship. Once every five years, yes. come on. Yes, that, that would be perfect that would be tonight. Five, yep. Spacing it yes. out. You guys are not too far from Loveless, right? No. Oh, yes. We're really close. Love oh, oh, we love okay. it. Okay, so same here. One of the most iconic Nashville restaurants. It's kind of a little bit farther out on the outskirts of Nashville. They're going mobile, y'all. <gasps> Food truck! They are. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Mobile fried chicken. Oh, Is that's that awesome. the cutest? Wow. Yes, I love okay, that. Okay, so biscuits, fried chicken, all the things. Events will come, come to, to you. House. I know. <gasps> it's rentable. So you can wow. pay, have them come out. Could you imagine if you had an event and you said, P.S., I'm going to have the loveless food truck at my place? Oh, my gosh. More people than you planned. More people Weddings. than you planned. Yes. Yeah. Launch party is so happening good. this Thursday. It's going to be at Centennial Park. The event is at the Pavilion 5 to 8. Music, activities for the kids. Of course, all the food. First 200 <gasps> people, free biscuits. What? I know. There you go. I wonder if they go out, wow. go out to Prim Springs. I wonder if they're uh, <laughs> They need to. How far yeah. they go. They really need to. Well, there are so many cool things that are happening in your little area. Mm -hmm. yeah. They do, like, the movies. Yeah. And yeah. All the good stuff. Yes. Some fun Launch stuff happening out there. All right, we could do everybody. some new love.